Welcome to h and HN Daily. I'm Susanna Hopsollern, Senior Editor for Hospitals and Health Networks Magazine. Today's healthcare market requires dynamic insights into operational processes that impact staffing levels, patient safety, and patient and employee satisfaction. A team at St. Joseph Mercy Oakland in Pontiac, Michigan, developed a real-time business intelligence dashboard for key performance indicators. Today, I'm joined by Dave Bobrick, Project Manager, Clinical Informatics, and Mehul Nayak, Operations Manager, Logistics Center at St. Joseph Mercy, Oakland, in Pontiac, Michigan, to discuss real-time dashboards, managing through metrics for a better patient experience. Welcome, Dave and Mayhul. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Mayhul, can you describe the organizational goals that were behind this project? The organizational goals, uh, what our CEO, Jack Weiner, what, what he envisioned uh, was having the strategic planning document, which in a traditional hospital setting and other organizations might be done uh, uh, once a year, and having that break to kind of having more real time to more uh, an ongoing review. So the vision behind the project was having our key strategic initiatives, which are KSIs, and having those be reviewed and monitored on a more regular basis. How did your operational model change to meet these goals? The operational model changed because we had a system that allowed at 945 in our present CEO's office, we have a, an operations huddle that takes place. And during this operations huddle, we review all our uh, key metrics from the day before, the current day of, and review those in a, in a 15 minute type setting to address, you know, where, where are we at? Where are we in terms of our key volume measures, key turnaround measures, and what barriers we have within that. We have escalation processes that are set up should any barriers or problems arise to address with those on, on a real-time basis. Uh, the real-time dashboards is also displayed on, on nursing units, on ancillary units, and the department-specific metrics are also addressed in the department huddles for, for a same sort of uh, 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 resolution of any sort of barriers. Dave, how does the real-time dashboard work? Yeah, the technology works by establishing a database connection directly to our source systems. So our source systems are our electronic health record, our patient flow system, our quality management system, our financial and productivity system, as well as our patient satisfaction databases. So connecting to those uh, databases through a open database connection, we're able to query data um, into a separate staging database that we have locally at our site. We're able to clean the data up um, and then take that data and push it out to a real-time dashboard. What are some of the improvements that have come about because of these real-time analytics you put in place? The real-time real analytics has allowed us to look at our patient satisfaction scores more on, on a on a day-to-day -day perspective to a weekly perspective, post to looking at them from 45 days to 60 days uh, uh, retrospectively. Uh, in our ED, for example, we look at our throughput times, uh, acute care track, which is your sicker patients, uh, that turnaround time, we're able to reduce that by uh, almost 100 minutes. So you've seen real measurable improvements. What are the challenges in something like this? The biggest challenge we had was getting access to those databases. Um, before any other work can begin, you have to have a connectivity to the database. And um, being in a larger health system, um, trying to find out where the data was and, and how we use it since we all are on different platforms, um, and really getting into the database was the biggest challenge for us. Uh, once we are able to get into the database, then it's just a matter of uh, making your connections and cleaning up the data. Uh, another uh, constraint that we had was resources. So we didn't actually add any FTEs to this project. Now, we created a BI structure um, at our organization that included some experts from um, across the organization from different departments. Um, and we meet on a weekly basis to prioritize um, requests that we get for, our, for data requests. Um, and then we're able to, from there, um, work on those based on our priority level. So um, having the, you know, the resources was a constraint, but putting that team together really helped us overcome that. 
what about staff response to this, the clinical staff? How did they feel about it? The staff response has been very positive because it's allowed uh, our organization to internally learn from one another. If a certain unit's patient satisfaction score, for example, is consistently uh, doing well for one particular set of questions, say quietness, for example, uh, a manager of any other unit that is seeking uh, help in that traditional uh, area can go talk. It allows for a lot, go, they can go talk to the other manager and have a very uh, open-ended discussion as to hey, what are the initiatives that you are doing that might be applicable to my unit, and and just that and cross-functionally be have that open and honest discussion about how we can learn from one another uh, has been really positive. It also helps us um, to make sure we're all aligned with our goals and objectives so uh, the staff know exactly what we're tracking, what we're looking for, and how they're doing compared to what, our, what the, uh, the goals and objectives are. Um, so having just that um, data transparency throughout the organization uh, doesn't leave any surprises for everyone and we all know that we're working towards the same goal. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Thank you.